It was just a few quick backward steps, rocking a pair of black loafers and bringing the moonwalk to the masses. But is MJ really the true godfather of the moonwalk? It all started in 1983 at the star-studded 25th anniversary show for Motown Records. Jackson would later say his inspiration for the move came from, quote, these beautiful children, these black kids who live in the ghettos. But there's actually much more to the story. Choreographer Jeffrey Daniel was known for a move called the backslide. He asked me to teach him how to do it and renamed it the moonwalk. Michael was like a sponge. He absorbed everything. Daniel had performed the move in 1979 on Soul Train with Casper Candidate and Cooley Jackson. They credited their inspiration to the 70s dance group Electric Boogaloo. Even James Brown glided across the stage in 1964. A decade earlier, tap dancer Bill Bailey is often credited with pulling off the first ever backslide at the Apollo Theater in 1955. And Bailey may have been inspired by Cab Calloway, who did some slick footwork on the silver screen back in the 1930s. Years later, when Calloway saw Jackson's moonwalk, he said, shoot, we did that back in the 1930s, only it was called the buzz back then. Some other performers added that Jackson didn't give them enough credit for what led to the moonwalk. We kind of ended up being invisible, Cooley Jackson would say years later. And they're right. Without those generations of entertainers who buzzed and backslid across the stage, there might never have been the moonwalk. But there was, and culture was changed forever when Michael Jackson made the moonwalk his own for the world to see.